Today we're going to be learning how to make our very own DIY screen print using the Icon Art Stencil Kit. I began by printing my design onto the special inkjet printer film that I was provided with. I then let the Icon Art do its magic. In a completely dark room, I actually watched the machine develop the stencil. For this project, I actually use the textile film, which is the purple one, because it has a little bit of a sticky back to it, which will help when you're screen printing. Once the process was done, I did as was recommended in the instructions and ran my design underneath some warm water. As the warm water washed away all of, you know, whatever was processed by the machine, my design was revealed. You want to make sure that you really, really spray it down until you see the white come through, just like as you see in my design here. Then I hung it to dry overnight, and it was all ready to go for the next day. The next part can be done one of two ways. You can either simply buy your very own Speedball brand uh, frame, or you can make your very own using a canvas. I went ahead and took apart the canvas by cutting away all of the excess canvas fabric off of the frame. And then I was gonna actually staple the stencil onto the frame, but I decided to simply just use some frog tape. That way, if I wanna remove or exchange it out, I can. And here I'm actually just covering up the words because for starters it was the first time that I ever did this so I did not mirror my design which you have to do if you're going to use lettering but also I didn't actually want the letters for this project I wanted just the little sunflowers so I basically covered up the letters so that the paint wouldn't come through if that makes sense. So you know any part of the design that you want to hide you simply add tape over very very easy. Please note that I am actually sticking the tape on the sticky side of the screen print. This is just going to make sure that none of the paint comes through. Also, the sticky side down is what you want so that it sticks to your fabric to make for a neat screen print. And here you can see that I am protecting my surface as well as the other side of my hoodie by putting a piece of cardboard inside of it so that it doesn't transfer the paint to the other side by mistake. Also, it doesn't get onto my table. Once you have your design positioned on there to liking, go ahead and squeeze some paint onto your screen print and using a scraper tool or a squeegee, drag it down. Now you can use any plain old acrylic paint, which is what I'm using here because we're gonna heat set it anyway, or if you wanna be fancy or a little more professional, you can use some actual screen printing ink. And again, I will have all of those options linked up for you in the blog post so you can easily access them. Once you're happy with how much paint you have on there or how little depending on what kind of look you're going for you're going to go ahead and put your excess paint back into your container and very slowly pull up on your screen and it should reveal a very neat design. Now you do want to let this dry overnight. I heat set it using my Cricut Easy Press and I did this at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 seconds. Please note that I protected my design using a piece of parchment paper. Next up is the cropping part. Now, normally I do this with my rotary cutter, but you guys being 100% transparent, I couldn't find it <laughs> for this video. So I ended up just using some sewing scissors. But the easiest way to crop is using a rotary cutter and a self-healing mat like the one that I have in this video. Again, all that's going to be linked up for you in the blog post. My last little pro tip is if you notice when I begin cutting, I'm actually cutting at an angle before cutting straight across that crease that I made using the Cricut Easy Press. And also to finish, I'm gonna do the same and cut down at an angle. This is just gonna give the piece a little bit more dimension, which will actually make sure that it lays neatly across the body. Here's what it looks like on my favorite model ever. And as always, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snap, and TikTok.